At the beginning of the movie, the events of the past few years are shown. Some laborers are seen working in a mine, and a doctor is supervising them. The man informs the doctor that the workers have detected radiation during their work. This excites them, as they believe it to be uranium, and they bring in large machinery to the area. The ground starts to crumble into dust as they work, and the doctor leads his team into the newly formed cave. They begin their work, and the doctor moves to the underground cave with his team. The dust is thrust into the cave, and the team continues their work. The doctor leads his team further into the cave to explore. They glimpse a giant skeleton of an animal. Pondering over it, Doctor knows that it is not a skeleton but a giant animal. Which was sleeping there. And it was awakened with a ray of light. Then it is shown that animal had moved to the sea, coming out of the cave. On the other side, a scientist in Japan comes on the scene who was talking with someone through a call. That earthquake is being felt here from that location where that animal appeared. There is his nuclear power plant. He says, I will have to stop this nuclear plant if it continues. Then his wife arrives there and he leaves with his son named Ford and wife. He mentions with his wife, aftershocks are appearing devastating. So you will stay at my nuclear power plant with my team till that time. Then the same scientist is shown in a laboratory. Who was detecting the location of the aftershocks. But no one was getting something. Then he orders to turn off all machineries. Because we are unaware which thing is creating shocks. They may not harm us. Earthquake again occurs there once again. And scientist's wife also reaches there. She begins to run from there. Then toxic gas is spread with the explosion in the cabin. Scientist proceeds to save the life of his wife. But it was too late and the toxic gas had started to spread in the whole cabin speedily. His wife says to him, close the door before it reaches there. And the scientist has to close the door reluctantly. Afterwards, he is depressed because his wife was left inside. His wife says to him, take care of our son, Ford and the entire nuclear power plant is destroyed because of radiation. Ford was also witnessing it from his school. Fifteen years later, Ford had got the post of a soldier now. He had returned to his house after a few months training. He was wedded now. His wife receives a call that Ford's father has been arrested by police. Ford used to hate his father. Because, he thought that his mother died due to his father. But he goes to meet him on the suggestion of his wife. And he releases his father from the custody of police, going there. Then both come back to the house, his father says to him, my son. It was not an accident but the cause were the radiations. And the same radiations are still being felt once again. And he was arrested because of his visit to that place which was banned by police. He tells that my friend has also sensed the voices. It means that strange voices are heard from there. I will have to investigate, going there. I need to prove that the explosion of nuclear plant on that day was not a mere accident. Then Ford also goes with his father there. Now they notice, there were not the toxic gases or the radiations. Police again arrest both of them and take them, coming there. And the doctor is also there who was shown at the start of the movie. They all ask the scientist, what is the cause of your visit there time and again? Scientist begins to reveal what he wanted to do. Doctor is left astonished because he also had not much knowledge. They were conducting experiment there on a biggest rock-like item. Suddenly, that rock starts shaking and an electrical discharge is created in it. That rock is split and a giant creature appears from there. It was monstrous and attacking people, while discharging electricity. Then it is shown, that animal comes from the nuclear plant, releasing itself. It flies from there. Next day, Captain approaches, and asks Doctor to come with him. Doctor also takes Ford and Scientist with him. But Scientist was badly injured in this incident. Their head reveals going there, it is not an ordinary creature. It went deep into the sea with the decrement of earth radiations so that he may restore its energy from there. They tell that our company was also made to search it out. It is still alive and its name is, Godzilla. This incident was due to this animal which was being considered earthquake by the people. And it came into the nuclear plant of Japan, while walking. Because he needed such place where he could get much energy at a time. It is appeared with it that scientist is dead there. And they are all get worried. As it is his turn to die today, and another person may also meet his end in coming day. Immediately, Head is reported through a call that C is emitting the mystery's radiations. They come to know that creature exists there. And that creature was swallowing the nuclear bomb to get energy. But they were also realizing something more there. Some people were sent there who noticed that a monstrous animal is coming out of the sea. Actually, it was the same threatening creature which had entered the city. And all people were much frightening from it. Then, Godzilla, also comes on the scene which was shouting furiously. Next day, news broadcast that creature fled while being afraid from, Godzilla. Now that menacing creature was uniting the more animals with it, going into the sea. 
Doctor's team member reveals, we had got two eggs before a time ago. Being hatched, an animal had gone to the nuclear plant of Japan. And we don't know what happened with another egg. It was kept at a place securely. When some people are sent to check, they witness, that animal had gone somewhere after being hatched. It is known, this egg belongs to that menacing creature. Being hatched, he was creating havoc, going to another city. Police start inquiring both of these creatures. Then it is shown that Doctor is watching footage of another creature. Here they notice, this creature is wingless. As another creature had wings. While investigating, they find out that it is female animal while the first one was male. As being soldier, Ford is sent to visit everywhere with military. So that he may stop those creatures. Contrarily, Captain tells, those creatures are creating devastation. Then Head says to him, we will have to explode them with deadly nuclear bomb. Then Captain says, they will get benefit from it. Because nuclear energy is required for them. And they will be stronger with it. Head says, what can we do except it? Risk will be taken. Both of creatures were going into the sea to restore their energy while filling radiation in them. Because the depth of sea was the source to provide radiations to them. On the other side, Godzilla was coming to put them into death. So they stepped towards that sea, keeping the nuclear bomb with them. Ford had also kept his eye on them. They had placed that bomb in a boat. Male creature attacks on that boat and leaves, taking that nuclear bomb. Now both creatures had gone away, possessing that nuclear bomb. Because they had got the great source of their energy. Military and Head's plan was fallen flat completely. They think, they are unable to produce fruitful results. So, Godzilla, may secure our lives. Then it is shown, those creatures were creating a big disaster in the city. Fortunately, Godzilla, also appears there. Military was also there. Then it is shown, that, Godzilla, confronts that creature and the fight starts between them. They were monstrous and damaging many things while fighting. All move back. There was only male creature there. So, Godzilla, was fighting him with no difficulty. It is about to kill male creature. Then female creature attacks it, coming from backside. Now, Godzilla, was alone fighting with both of them. It was becoming hard to kill both of them by, Godzilla. On the other side, it is shown that military officers get many eggs in the underground nest. Those were laid by the female creature. And their defeat made heavy burden for, Godzilla. Military officers come out after setting the bomb time. All eggs are spoiled as that bomb is soon exploded. Noticing it, male and female creatures start worrying about their eggs. And both run there, leaving, Godzilla. That explosion benefited, Godzilla, because the radiation of that explosion began to transfer into him as energy. Using it, he discharged that energy from its mouth on both creatures. Now, Godzilla, had become stronger. And he was fighting both creatures with full force. Here, Godzilla, kills male creature. Seeing it, female creature comes in a fit of rage. Military had spoiled its eggs so it was also the cause of its fury. Then it moves forward to Ford and, Godzilla, captures it from the backside. Opening its mouth, Godzilla, puts all radiations into that creature from it. As a result, it dies after suffering much pain. Ford was also badly injured but military officers take him to provide medical assistance. Next day, Godzilla, comes on the scene. People were thinking as it is dead. Being tired, Godzilla, was laid down while closing its eyes. Waking up, it begins to walk to go into the sea. In fact, it had not come here to harm anyone. He has grudge only for those menacing creatures. Now it returns into sea after killing them. It is shown that Ford had also gone back to his wife and son. Everything is turned equitable and the movie also completes with it.